Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is just one of those days where things are not going my way. I was in the process of doing a current check on, well, actually this guy is the very same unit that had problems with the little RAM battery that uh, died, unfortunately. And when they die, you lose all your settings. So you have to go through and you have to recalibrate, which is what I was doing. And I was recording it and I was doing a fantastic job. Um, and then I got up to one section where it was asking for current and I got up to five amps, which five amps is pro it's pulling. That's, that's quite a bit. And, uh, stupid thing just shut right off. So let's go ahead and let's take a look and let's see if we can figure out what the heck is going on because it just powered off. It will not power back on. Okay, guys, here we go. My QA ES3 is still set up. And you can see that what I'm going to use is uh, one of these Fluke non-contact voltage detection pens. And you can see if you get near an AC power source, it's going to light up, right? So we can see over here that we clearly have power coming in. And then the way it is, is we have an EMI filter right there. And then it comes out and it goes along these down to the front power button. And then it comes up here into the board. Well, let's see. We are now on. So I should have voltage right here. Okay. Brown is hot. Blue is neutral. This thing should be glowing. No problem whatsoever. Right here is my line in power. Should be glowing. No problem. Let's go ahead and stick this guy right down in here. That's right on the AC terminals. See how it's not even lighting up? My EMI box right down there is the problem. Now I got to check out and see what's going on with that little EMI filter and see what I can do. There should be maybe some fuses on it, right? Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see. All right, there's that guy. It is fused right there's my fuses. Okay, let's go ahead and pull it open. I hope it's not melted. <laughs> Come on, there it is. Let's go, missus. There we go. Okay, so here are my fuses. Let's go ahead and pull them out and let's see what we got. Here's our fuses. Multimeter. And let's set this bad boy on continuity. Let's see. It's possible. It's actually probable. I mean, they're fuses for a reason, right? Because fuses are designed to break. Okay, let's check our meters. Okay, go. That one's good. See that, guys? We popped a fuse. Okay, so one of the things that I noticed in this bad boy is the duty cycle, which is the percentage of on time versus off time. It was running hot. I mean, we, we sat there for probably five minutes. And it was just constantly burning, which means it was it was generating output. And this right here, your low voltage power supply, this is your uh, switch mode power supply. This guy was so hot, I, it was ready to burn my hands. So as things get hot, they just, they're going to pull more and more current. And luckily, it didn't pop this guy. There's a known problem down here on that transformer right there where it will arcy spark. And that's due to cold solder joints and due to heating, expanding, cooling, whatnot. And, you know, the rest of these guys right here, they were just fine. Now, mind you, when, whenever you touch heat sinks in a unit, make sure that it's unplugged because I have actually seen where some of these units are shorted uh, or they're hot, like hot with, with mains. And I have been lit by just touching them like so. And come to find out, it was shorted the mains, and I, I got zapped. So, guys, uh, just remember, if you're going to do some temperature checks, make sure that it's when the device is unplugged. But, um, yeah, so this guy back here was extremely hot, and uh, it was a no-go. So, guys, what turned out to be a calibration video to show you guys a little bit of how we do what we do, it turned into an unfortunate casualty. That's all right. Little fuse, we'll get it back in, we'll get it back up and going, and I'll finish that current measurement. Unfortunately, I have to start all the way back at zero. Maybe this time I can go a little bit faster. I didn't know it was going to go all the way up to five amps. Jeez, five amps. 
is cooking. That's no wonder that thing got hot. And, you know, the longer I take to get to my next measurement is the longer that is burning. And the longer that is burning, the hotter it's going to get. And that, that's your duty cycle. It's on for too long. So what I should have did is after I did my voltage calibration, I should have just stopped, give it 15 or so minutes to cool back down and then go into current. But I didn't. I did the voltage calibration. And then I went right into the current calibration. And I do believe that that's what put the extra strain on the unit. It needs to cool off a little bit. It is what it is. Ah, hopefully it's okay. Let's replace that fuse and let's get it back up. Thanks for watching, guys.